Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to make a PowerPoint presentation. So, we're going to start with a blank presentation. Okay, so you can see, click to add title. So, here we are going to write your title. So, let's say Japanese culture. Here, I'm going to add by your name, Mr. P, in this case. So I'm going to make that smaller and I'm going to put it right here. Okay, I just prefer it right there. And here, I don't like this font, so I'm going to change fonts and I'm going to choose bangers. I just like that. And for Japanese, it's just perfect, okay? I'm going to make that bigger right there and oops so you can see that if I make it bigger it expands by itself until I say so right <laughs> okay so now I'm going to choose I'm going to insert a picture yes and you can go here pictures online pictures and let's see Japanese culture let's see what they show us okay they give us a lot of things so maybe i just add a pagoda okay right there this is a nice temple i'm going to get rid of that and maybe i'm going to put it right in the center right there and maybe i want to let's say you want to add shadow to the picture so you just choose that this expand you can make it blurry right there and that's your fir first picture um, you may want to change color of your font okay be careful here um, you can change it to uh, orange or blue as you as you wish you can also add shadow to the test. This is how you do it. So simple, right there. And if you want to make it stand out, that's, that's how you do it. And maybe distance, I'm going to give a little distance right there. And that gives depth to the font and it makes it nicer, right? By Mr. P, here you would um, add your name then I, I will need more slides. So I think you will need six slides at least for your presentation. So let's have six. You just add new slide and new slide. So the first one, um, you're going to talk about geography, right? So geogra geography. Okay, and we're going to choose bangers always and if you want to make it bigger you can add it to 60 right there then I'm going to add see the choices that you have right here you can add a picture right there and I'm going to look for map so um, I prefer that you choose the one that is with um, white background because my background is white and it looks much better right so this get rid of this uh, make it bigger for example here you can you can expand it go wild but nice okay so you just add text and I'm going to choose let's say Arial bold because i want to bold right there and i'm gonna make it bigger not bigger than this because that's the title so i want this as big okay and here what i added where is it now i lost it see i lost my okay so i just go back <laughs> and look for it right there and I add, we said Arial, 
bold and then we're going to make it bigger okay right there so you can say something like Japan is in is in Far East Asia okay that's the continent okay you can say something like it is made up of I think eight islands um, or more you can go um, on Google and check the information okay you're allowed to do that and you can say something like the biggest island is you can provide the, the information so as you can see is very very simple so the next slide I want to show you a trick so let's say I want to copy that um, that font okay so I go to copy first select copy and then you just paste paste and you will see you just have to change now here I'm going to talk about religion okay and you have it right there with the same font and the same size so everything looks the same then you're going to add a picture we go back to picture and I believe Shinto religion is Japanese so I'm going to look for a nice picture this is a nice picture I like this this monument uh, maybe you can place it right there because you need to look where you're going to write so I'm going to write right here right and don't forget if you want to add like shadow to the picture you can go there and make um, give it a distance and make it blurry I have to move that back right there or maybe at the top is much better right there um, yeah right there and here you do the same you go back I want to copy that so you go to copy and then you paste yes right there and here instead of this I'm going to write about uh, the religion Japanese Japanese religion is and then you describe something you say something more about Shinto okay um, the Shinto religion you can add anything that you like but don't make it too much I don't want too much information on my slides uh, when you give your presentation um, always describe the picture that you have okay so in this picture we have a monument and it represents the Shinto religion um, I believe it is sunset or sunrise right here I don't know you can tell me I think it's sunset and it looks like summer and it's a color picture so that's all I, I want you to say not too much but nice and clear then you have to answer some questions I believe at the end you will have to answer remember to have the same font you just copy and you paste paste and then here on top you just highlight it and you add your question so what makes it interesting I think is one of the questions so you can write right there but you need the same font so you go back you select you copy right and you paste you paste right there so what makes it interesting so Japanese culture has always been interesting to me okay um, you have to tell me why and so you won't um, write a period right there you just continue because 
and you give me your reason. Okay. Um, here, I suggest also to add a picture. So you can insert and then pictures and you can choose pictures, any picture that you like um, that you think is nice for these questions. So that gives it a flavor of Japanese culture, right? Now you can change the uh, background of your slides so you can select all of them. Okay, you just go here and you select, select all, like here. And then you will see background and you can choose the gradient. You can choose the color that you want. You can even choose a picture. You have different textures right there. Or you can choose a pattern with different color. For example, you have that pattern or you m may change to this pattern, this pa that pattern. Um, be careful. As you can see, it looks really messy. Like, I, I don't want that. I want very clear. It has to be very clear. This is not bad, okay? But I just would keep it to um, just one color. So I go to select again and we'll go to one color. Maybe if I don't want white on board, then I will choose maybe red, but you can make it to a soft red. Um, don't make it too red. Otherwise it's going to, um, it won't do good to the font that you're using. So see right there, so this, I will change it to another color. Maybe I will change it to bright red. And that looks nice, okay? So it has to be nice. Um, it has to be clear like this, um, centered, something like this, okay? And you have to always uh, add all the slides that I asked you on the uh, project. Okay, so if you have any questions, you may ask me under the video or in class. I hope you enjoyed the lesson um, and you may share the lesson if you think somebody else might need it. Until next time, bye bye.